Hi, you're here. Welcome to Dad's RC Hangar. Why am I so excited? Yes, it is that big word beginning with F. It's a Friday feeling. Let's do this. And back in the room, or should I say, back in the hangar. So, you're wondering why is Chris swiveling on his swivel chair? And he'll fall off in a minute and it'll be an outtake. Well, we need to talk about the Tiger Moth. Now, we're going to build it today, or start building. Now, what I'm going to do, because I know I waffle on, but this is going to be a couple of sessions. You know, it's going to be probably three or four videos. Uh, just because I like to go into finer detail, so if you get a problem... You don't have to solve it because I've already solved it. So let me have the headache. You just relax and chill out. And you, you just sit down and be comfortable. Because uh, Chris at Dad's Yarsi Hangar is here to give the old massage. Don't worry. We're all good. We're all good. Now, as uh, as you know, that in the unbuilding, it is a sexy, sexy plane. It is really well built. I mean, they've knocked it out of the park with this, in my eyes, anyway. Um, as I say, I haven't seen many balsa planes. Or built, should I say. It's my, my, be my first balsa. And yes, I've still got no teeth and it's getting worse, but, but what is the date today? What is the date today? It is Friday the 10th, 2020. Puh, horrible year. Puh, again, that horrible year. <laughs> um, if, you, if you're watching this in 2021, then you'll know what I mean, that the year before was terrible. If you're watching it now, then we just, you know, we are getting there. Anyway off track what i'm going to try and do is that in each video is that um, youtube do this timeline thing so what i'll do is i'll put on there how to make and how to make and probably in between it'll be chris chitty chatting chris talking about something else chris just being a stupid idiot the end so you know if you want to just uh, you know you want to build it and you want some tips or you want to see you know where I went wrong so you don't have to then you can pass the word so that's what I'm going to do just for you just to keep you but of course if you want to listen to all my chit chat and you want to listen to Waffle On then welcome anyway back to my teeth Wednesday next Wednesday so yes that's why I looked at the date wasn't it see I'm going it's a Friday it's a Friday feeling but my brain is just like you know it's just not there I think it's just somewhere else at the moment it'll soon like you know come back together anyway Excuse me, a bit, uh, a bit snotty. It's because um, uh, my my dehumidifier, the pipe got bent, so it starts to fill up inside itself. And silly me, I'm sitting there looking at this book before this video and turned it on, so it's kind of sucked all the water out of me. <coughs> Damn. All right, so tie them up. Yes. So I was looking through this. I thought, you know, let's let's get ahead of myself. Let's make sure that you know I know what I'm about to do, so I'm not sitting here. And you're not sitting there tapping your fingers going any minute now Chris is going to make it. Already I've come across a few problems. Yes I have. Now in a minute we're going to flip to uh, another camera. Another camera. I've got this an Osmo action camera. Oh yeah. Os Osmo. Is it called Osmo? I think it's called Osmo. Let's get it shall we. <sighs> yes it's Osmo. Osmo action cam. Um, now I brought that for my cine whoop because um, I didn't want to go for the other one, whatever it's called. Um, uh, uh, this is like made by DJI, so, you know, they're the in thing at the moment. Not that it's trendy, but it's because their electronics are most up-to-date and they're in your face rather than the other make that we shan't talk about. Um, yeah, so we'll switch over to that view in a minute um, so you get a good head view of what I'm talking about. Uh, but the first the first thing is, I mean, it, this, is, this is the build, so this is number one. The first thing is we're going for a glow engine, as you saw, saw me nearly have a heart attack. Yeah, she's over in the corner over there, um, waiting to get to the field. I was going to go last Sunday to uh, make a video of, 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 um, of um, warming in the engine, whatever you call it, not warming in, running in, running in the engine. Um, but it was drizzly rain and it went cold and it was all over the place, so yeah, no rush. Anyway, so this is the firewall. Okay, and as you see, if I can get that in shot, there's like a there's a line across and a line vertical and horizontal. Now, this is where you're meant to put the uh, these little plastic duhickies, which is the engine holders, and there is a little line on the inside. You won't be able to see it because it's black, but it's a little line inside, and you're meant to line up. So. Um, 
So if I show you this on, oh, on here, these are the problems we're going to come across and we will resolve them. So if you look on here, if I, if I don't blind you, um, it shows you, you know, how to place and line up the lines. But the engine is not centered to the firewall and it doesn't give you measurements. That's terrible with my teeth, it really is. It doesn't give you measurements of where about in the, in, on the plane it should be. There's no markings. I'm really, really surprised at that. So I need to do uh, a few measurements, bits and pieces. Um, if you look on this picture here, um, on, on the glow engine, if you can just see that, this one here, you can see that the distance is not central. Can you see that? Oh, hopefully you can see that. I'm sure you can. And nowhere in this Bible is what distance you should have from the uh, from port and starboard. So, so let's knock that one out. I need to do a bit more information on that. Uh, I need to try and do speak to someone, whatever, look at something or whatever else. Uh, with the uh, with the with the firewall for the electric, uh, you get this extra timber, and you line these crosshairs up with the crosshairs on the firewall and you've got your four holes now they're different site they're different placements so I thought well okay, I could use that that's a good idea as a template um, but they don't line up so I need to look in that I don't want to start cutting up the firewall and getting it all wrong so I'd rather just wait I mean at the end of the day I can still do that um, when everything's on apart from uh, the, the the top section but we, we, we we'll get there the other problem I found is uh, this is the wa the water bottle. It's because I'm thirsty. I think. I think. Wait a minute. When I swap the cameras, I'll go and get a drink. So the water bottle has got two curved edges and two flat edges, and the filler tube, which which you fill. I think it's the filler tube anyway. Um, it doesn't really say on there if that's an air, an air. What is it on my? That could be that could be where it goes to the um, the exhaust. Excuse me, I do apologise. Bit bungy. It's because it sucked the air out of this place. Um, yeah, so it doesn't fit properly. Um, I will we'll, we'll cut shot to the overshot, and the, and then you'll see what I mean. Uh, we're going to cut between a couple of shots, so I can, so I can explain. Um, uh, just, just this is this. Is, I think I'll headline this just about pre prep, prep because you know, rather than going, yeah, go stick it in, bang, 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 and then it doesn't work. That's what I don't. I'd rather spend a bit of time and I'd rather spend a bit of time with you guys doing it because I could quite sit here and do it all day long on a Friday, Saturday, whatever, and then say, look, what got I done? But then again, that goes totally against my videos. I like you to see from step by step. Yes, it's a pain because you've got to listen to me waffle on, and yes, it's only half an hour video, so. Um, I mean, the recommended for this is a two two hour build. Um, so that's already four videos, unless I speed it up. And I really don't want to speed this up. Um, I'd rather you sort of, but this is why I'm going to put the little uh, index so you can jump. If you don't listen to me, waffle on. I don't blame you. So, how is everybody? I hope you're okay. I hope you've had a good week. Um, I tried to send, little moan, I tried to send uh, the Craft Kings little prezi that he won and i did it from my um from my work uh, um i just had, i did it from work so it was headed from work i don't know why i did that but and of course it comes to customs and they probably thought that i was selling him something and they said no invoice they sent it back to me it's really nice of them huh um you know it's, it's a pretty penny so i really apologize to the craft king um so next time we do a um do a prize. I need to think about it a bit more. Um, if you're over in a pond in the US, uh, maybe that uh, you know we'll um, we'll get some Motion RC because it's one of my favourite people out there. Some Motion RC vouchers or something. I don't know. We'll do it. But um, yeah, I mean you can imagine me trying to send a plane over there. Unreal. It's because I wanted it on a couple of days as well. So I already apologised to the Craft King. So we'll have to sort that out. But it's my first giveaway. I didn't want that happening. Pretty upset. Right, so I, I reckon we should do is cut to an overhead shot and um, and then we'll come back to a wide shot and start putting some um, horizontal sta sta stabilizers, <laughs> teeth, horizontal stabilizers and the rudder. All right.
So, as you can see, this is my overhead cam shot. Um, this is inside the um, uh, fuselage. Now, the bottle, as you can see, if you can see a close up of the bottle now, um, it's kind of uh, rounded on one side. Now, even if I put it, this is where it belongs anyway, if I put it on here, um, if I get the, if I get a uh, my ruler, you see, it's hitting the bottle. So you know, if I if I hold it there, you see that it knocks against it. Uh, even if I put it on the curved side, which you would have thought it would have been because of the the breather hole at the top, even worse. So I'm not sure what to do about that. So that's going to be another thing to say, mm, what the hell are we going to do there? You know, I don't see anything cutting out. I mean, here comes the, I think it's one of my Diddy servos. I seem to have inherited a lot of servos trying to look for the servos that I actually wanted. But there's going to be one here. Um, there's actually two here, which are uh, the big boys, which are these ones here which are the uh, high-tech HS311. I think they're the ones anyway. No, I'm lying to you. They're different ones. They're not the, uh, they're not the nice ones. The nice ones I was able to get from Germany, believe it or not, are the HS485 HB ball bearings. So they sit, will sit anyway. If I can get that cable in there. They, there's two of them, one sits there and one sits next to it, so you can just see it, just uh, if I split that open there. So they sit there. Now, the receiver, I presumably, uh, will go in here. Be a nice place for the receiver. Um, just uh, just around the wing type. Um, so, I don't, you know, do I cut out a bit of the wood here? You know, would that lose strength? Probably not, if I just cut it, if I cut this here, where along those lines, and the same in here, then I reckon that the, 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 the bulbous of this might just go down and sit in there, which will also hold it nicely. So I think that is enough of this um, inside because, yeah, as it, oh, so let me just show you actually that what, what happens when that bottle is there, is this is the, uh, this is the um, cockpit and stuff, whatever you like to call it, yeah, this all hits. It all hits. So rather than rather than um, making the the fuselage a bit weak, I could always do something here. What I don't know, but it's going to be interesting. It's a challenge. I like a challenge. Uh, I do like the. I do like it in here. Um, get to the side. That that would be the right way up for you. It's upside down for me. It's really scale, don't you think? I can't bring it up because of the, there you go. Awesome. Awesome. And there's him. I haven't named him yet. What should we name him? Pilot somebody. Do you think he looks like me? No. No, he's got teeth. Right. So yeah. So when that goes on, when the um, if I can get it in the get it in the O, this is. Here we go. When that's in the hole, when it's in the hole, <laughs> when it's in, it sticks up at the front. There's a little lip on here. In fact, we could probably quickly show you. I don't want to go into it too much because it's boring you, it's boring me. Let's see if I can get that round. Fat finger syndrome, here we go. Right, so if I just put that in there, it doesn't exactly actually let me put it in there on the on the round side. When it's flat to flat, it just about lets me in. And it just you see you can see if I'm pushing this, it's springing back up again. So that's Yes, it'll make it tight fit here. I mean, maybe that's acceptable. I don't know. To me, I like precision. Not always good at it, but I like precision nevertheless. So, anyway, let's go back to the other view. Alrighty, back in the room. Yes, you are. Once again, you don't have to see me. You see this beauty here. That's all we're looking at today. Right, so, let's look at the Bible. And the Bible, I know for a fact, because I had a little look earlier on, is the horizontal stabilizer now on the horizontal stabilizer it asks to um let's fling this around because we're going to be working on this side um we've got to cut out this um bit of section here <laughs> make sure i cut out the right section not this round hole there oval hole 
um, and, and obviously we've got to cut this one out as well and then we've got to put some CA glue now basically I didn't know now, there's actually well I didn't know if you knew but anyway I've got some thin and medium um, trouble with CA glue is so so thin <laughs> and it kind of gets everywhere very quickly um, but CA glue is basically if uh, I don't know if in America or the pond you have the same but it's I think they call it crazy glue over there but it's basically super glue that's all it is it's just craft people call it CA glue um, which is a uh, cyanoacrylate cyanoacrylate I think that's how you say it cyanoacrylate CA and basically I've got one of my favorite glue that I'm always fixing my glasses or anything else that I break around the house and that's my industrial grade <laughs> which is industrial case super glue and this is not so loose it's it's gooey but it's nice so I'm really in two minds what to do you know well three minds because I've got three I also got like a foam safe CA as well but this is full on so I didn't test it and I don't want to start sticking because it's not like foam I can just cut it off it's like you know this is stuff forever and now I'm going to break stuff so anyway let's get a nif a craft knife out um, I'm hoping that um, my bits are sharp um, but I'm sure they are um, I think I will get that one there so let's oh hello hang on oh right okay got my little uh exacto blade I do like that you guys over the pond called it exacto blade it's quite interesting actually that there is uh, more interest in the camo tiger moth in in the UK than America I would have thought the America would love to see what the Brits are doing <laughs> anyway doesn't matter this is what YouTube tells me anyway so I'm gonna probably come around the side here anyway so we have got our um, let's just grab it I still haven't found like a really good camera position to do this sort of thing but if I do it from the side I just have to you know breathe in a bit so I look like better so the, <laughs> this is my smiley face once I've had my teeth in um, and then uh, we've got the tabs for, for the to, for the actual um, elevators which go that way and what it says is that we um, we can put one in glue it um, and then we cut the side out and then we push this in and uh, get the middle of it basically um, so yeah that's what I'm about to do so with no further ado I do I do I do let's cut a hole now I'm a bit worried and I'm scared but and I'm also blind as a bat so let me just tighten up my glasses I really hope I'm not going to make a mockery of this but don't forget don't forget they've given us extra stuff <laughs> if we uh, yeah let's not, let's just not think about it anyway I mean I've got to do three so I might as well do all three now fantastic so my first cut now what you've got to remember is that I'm used to um, oh what's the paper stuff called that you used to make aeroplanes with you probably still do actually and dope you know tissue and dope dope is the stuff that you start paint it on and suddenly the tissue becomes really taut like a drum so I'm used to that right let's put this somewhere before I end up stabbing myself camera where are you um, so let's uh, 
I don't have to be too too uh, worried about this one if it's got sticky on it because I'm going to be cutting outside it in like a a, a triangle triangle cheese so let's get that no you don't want to go in there come out there's one thing I mean I'm sure if you're not doing it on video it'd be a lot easier so I'm only my, it's my fault because I like to share that was so quiet could hear, hear a pin drop in here yeah. I could play music I mean I do I do have I do like pay for a subscription for music that I use on my little interludes that's better but hey you can hear a pin drop it's just nice you know especially if you're listening on headphones you know, it's not mega hot today so I don't have to have my fan on even though it is warm in here but that's because of the lighting in here right okay so why has he made that hole? Because it makes it easier for me to say, yes, that's the middle. Right, let's go for another one. Okay, so. Oh, no, just do it, just go, go, push, 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 push. Here we go, right, so. It's what I was saying about that helps me with the middle. So what I'll do, can you still see what I'm doing here? I think you can, yes, yeah, you can see what I'm doing, so that's good. What I'm gonna do is stick these in get them there and we'll, we'll get a bit of measuring tape oh that can't be right can it no it must be must be this way idiot here we are silly sod here we go <laughs> yes so don't make that mistake so it's good because you can say oh bloody I would have done that well you probably wouldn't here we go look because like, the patterns line up you know hello Right, so, does that look centre? It doesn't look centre to me. Okay, back in a room. Now, so a couple of tips here then. So, when you cut the actual plastic or the covering, should I say, make sure that you don't have a lip. Because if you do, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put all gunky stuff everywhere, so I'm going to have to get some gunk remover. Right, now, what I did um, is I measured from here... Uh, to the end and cut it in half um, uh, measurements can't remember now but yeah, obviously you have to measure make sure you measure both ways so you know you get the middle and then I got a middle then I put my square and got a middle on here now when I put it in and measured up this center point with the center point in the timbers here I was in fact out not by a lot but I was out so I just, I haven't got a rubber, would you believe it? Mrs, I haven't got a rubber. So I'm just gonna get my points now. Where is my phone? Over there. One thing a mobile good phone, is, one thing a mobile phone is good for is a torch. Right. So that is center. And that is, Center, center, center. We like center. Oh, hang on. And the line was skewed, so I would have been flying sideways. Probably not, but you know. Right, so that is, that is. Now, it's not a lot out. I mean, it was probably about two millimeters or 64th, maybe, is it? I don't know, something like that. But you know when you when you fly as I found out and you look at that look, I don't know you can't see that look at this. I don't know if you're gonna see this but we give it a go just see that gap there where it was too much I oh, can you see it? I don't know if you can you might be able to yeah not a lot huh but then again it doesn't take a lot does it you're out a little bit you might as well be out a mile it's all the same right okay so this already has taken longer than anticipated. <laughs> Sorry, but you know. Right, so what should we do? Now, what it's saying we do is cut this out. So I'm gonna cut the, just inside 
just inside that um, pencil mark you know, so lightly, not, not going too deep so I'm not going to score the hell out of the timber just inside because um, we've got to strip it off Du -du 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 -du. Right, okay, so just inside, just inside, just inside, just inside, just inside. Mary Poppins suddenly popped in my head. I don't know why. I'm delayed, I'm delayed, just inside. <laughs> yes, I'm mad, I'm mad. He's freaking, freaking mad. But I, t I do love. I do love the satisfaction of this, even though that doesn't meet. I think you're overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. What's the worst can happen? Crash? <laughs> Please don't say that. Not with my lovely glow engine. If I do get to the field this weekend and I test that glow engine, I'll put up an extra movie. Um, just about the engine so oh, so you know I don't know if there's a great way but I always turn in to the metal edge when I'm cutting uh, that way you're not going to go way uh, all over the place there's probably other people out there that are really really good at this I'm already scuffing this up to hell so but I've been pushing it in and out you know, I could always get paint to match. Match paint. You know, I don't know. Never, I don't know. I mean, it's a bit like it'll be like spraying stickers, won't it? So I don't know how that'll happen. I don't know. We'll see. Now I've got to try and get this off. So, did my cutting succeed? Was it an epic fail? of major proportions I tell you what I am doing I'm cutting into the wood a bit which is not good right okay let's strip now I'll leave a strip you can't see that can you I should be doing it a bit closer strip baby strip 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 it still looks like it's peed to me but I think maybe the centre hole's peed well I mean you can actually look there actually look like where it's meant to line up it's not lining up, but you know, isn't that what for? That's uh, right. So that's another sticker off. Just it just looks weird. I don't know what it is. It just it doesn't. You know, I must admit I have got an eye for things that are not straight. Um, <laughs> not that I'm very good at that sort of thing, but yeah. Let's just make sure that's slipped down there. Whoa. Okay. So that's uh, yeah. I'll, I'll have to get some. You can get some like glue remover, like can't you? Like right. So look, are we going to have as good a side as we did the other side? It's coming. Ooh, it's, oh, it's oh. Let me just. I don't think I've cut the ends. Of, let's just cut that edge. I don't want to stop. Chicken out there. Chicken out. Boom. Right, so that's what you've got to do. So then you have like this wedge, wedge out. Ever so gets very greasy, this uh, this covering. So I'm sure there's, uh, I'll have to look to see how you clean it. I'm sure there's some stuff that's really good at cleaning it. But as, again, the, you get this stuff that's um, that's good. Right, so we've, we've penciled that out. Let's, uh, let's bring this back, there we go. Yes, we've done the pencil work. Yes, we cut the little thing out. Hobby knife, which we do. When removing covering from the airplane, please ensure you secure the cut edge with CA or some similar cement to ensure covering will remain tight. Whoa, lucky I read that, wasn't it? Then you CA glue to the edge anyway. And, oh, you CA glue inside, okay. Okay, so that's what we do. So, we'll use our runny glue. Now this is going to cut, I, I, let me get a tester, this is why I, I keep my little spatulas, just to see how quick, oh look at that 
Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. It comes out so fast. <sighs> That's why I don't like CA glue. Okay. All right. But if I keep a, a keep a, you can't even. Hmm. It's almost like I want a spatula, isn't it, to keep it across? Let me just see if I can. I don't want to go mad on here. Let me just go across that edge. Across the edge ever so gently. Across the edge. Just so I can see that nice and shiny. Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. Look at that. I had to go for it, you know. I thought I'd be. I thought it was being all good and clever. So let's do that other edge. So just put this at a slight angle and it kind of it kind of dribbles out. Now it does say that when I'm doing the wings, uh, the flaps, not the flaps, the elevators and stuff like that, that you're meant to put some petroleum jelly on the underside, presumably to stop it sticking. I haven't got any. So that's going to be really interesting. Right, so let's just put some on that edge. So let's just get that edge there. And get that edge there. Come on. A little bit that's a straggler. I'm sorry if this is watching like this like watching paint dry, should I say? <laughs> um, but it you know, this is this is building the plane. You know, I could do this really fast, speed it up, maybe I'll have to. Right, so that is CA glue, that won't take a long to dry. Uh, why let's, let's just waft it around. <coughs> when you're doing this, <laughs> it does say you're meant to be in, in, you know, airy area. But this takes about 30 seconds or so to dry, I believe. But yeah, I, it's, I think what it is, I'm so used to building, as a kid, airfix models. I mean, now, these days, you get this glue that's like on a spatula and you just wipe it and it glues it's amazing but when i was a kid you had this big tub of tube of glue and you you know always trying to get them glue off you know when it goes white you know spoiling your plane but this stuff it's like look at that it's dried so that's dried the edges apparently so let's go in we're going in oh yes come on come on Come on, just make sure I put it backwards. There you go. There you go. So if I have, right, so it, so it does say do it down the edge. That is straight, so I might have, yep, there you go. So it says on here on the CA glue, CA glue, it says go, go along the edge. So who am I to say no? Which, you know, it's going to be a bit weird, but whatever. So, so, I've got to stop saying so, so much. <laughs> right, so, stop it. Right, I'm going to just have to wiggle it along there. It is what it is. There we go. Because, you know, there's nothing else you're going to... I'm just, oh, step, stick my fingers. I don't want to do that. It's a killer stuff. Once it's in the air, you won't see the glue. Yeah, I could have cut a bit tight over that. Am I going in there? Is it? Yeah, I am. Yeah. And it's just uh, can't get a nozzle in there. I just have to drip it down in there. <laughs> With a wet finger. There you go. With a wet finger. You think that they would make the end a bit more thinner? wouldn't you really but if I just dribble it down is, is that going in there is so yeah it's so like invisible that it's, it goes in there you don't really see it that it's gone in there if that makes any kind of random sense let's just make sure that's uh, in there Put a bit of light on the situation. I think that's gone in there. It looks like it has. It doesn't look like it's a lot of glue. I might have put my other glue inside there. Right, what I've got to make sure is that I felt a bit on my finger that you don't stick yourself to the plane. Right, so that's... Right, there. 
yeah this is pretty disgusting under here but not a lot I can do this does stink this stuff right you know I'm gonna give you out a shot just bring it around so I'm in shot but everyone's still getting shot right here we go it does stink just put a bit down there there we are I see what it's saying about um, about um, about putting petroleum jelly on one side bit of a gap there sure I pushed it leveled up well we shall see shall we right so that's kind of dry <coughs> it stinks that should dry it does say it should uh, not be an enclosed so that is dry that is our tail on the vertical stabilizers just reading while I'm talking no it's not a good thing now it does say we can put these ends on um, but I would like before I do that yes because that's got to be in line so let's let's do, let's, do you think that's drying there I think it does, it's pretty rapid I must admit needs a bit of a shiny surface there but whatever so that does go in there is that still it's a bit of let me just get that off because now my little bit of plastic that's sitting there where I've glued down there is also very rigid which is great because it helps me cut it off all part of the plan that yeah right <laughs> bit of timber coming off of that that's uh, it was a slither it's a slither I am no means a maker of, of balsa planes. Can you imagine me trying to build a plane of, out of an airframe? Which I would love to do, but oh my god. <laughs> it would, uh, I think, yeah. I'll leave that one for the professionals. You never know. Maybe once a, one time. But this has got to go down there. It's a bit tight now. I wonder if it, where it's super glued. It's kind of it's super tight, but that's good if it is because we like we like it nice and tight. I just don't want to break the plane. That's got to go down some more. Oh, mate! Phew. Well, I tell you, what, it's got to go down some more. But to help it, what I'm going to do. I'm going to just draw the line. I think this would have been better to glue it all afterwards, to be honest with you. We'll just draw that line because we have got to draw a line afterwards. That's... <sighs> yeah, you see where it's um, getting stuck. Let me just, uh, so I've just drawn a line. Um, To help it seat in because yes what you've got to do again you see I think that had a slight bit of glue there yeah should have should have stuck this in first then glue but it's trying to get the glue inside here so you can put uh, this the hardest thing be interesting to see how other people have done it I don't know if uh, James from Motion RC did it Ooh. Should have looked to see really. You might have, I might have got some pointers. But pointers or not, this is me doing it. And if it goes all wrong, it goes all wrong. Now, as I say, this is you know, I might have to do if I get time, I might have to do two on the Nexa on the Tiger Moth because it is taking me a while to do, and I don't want to do a part. And you miss a part and say, well, I had the exact same problem. What did you do? Because then you'll be 
messaging me, which I don't mind, or emailing me, which is nice. But wouldn't it be good if you knew the answer straight away by watching the video? Oh, so you don't know what I'm doing. This is annoying. Right, so I've, I've literally cut down the score where I drew because I know this is going to be below the edge anyway, so I'm not too fast. It's just to help it get. It's literally, you know, it's literally a small, small gap, which is great because you want, you want that tightness. You need that. <laughs> you need that tightness, so it stays straight. Stop that. So, <laughs> so we get that rigid, rigidity. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so it, it uh, you know, the um, the rudder will uh, be straight. I am concerned about this because of the fact that I've glued it already, and it, get, it just gets so sticky, which is a good thing, I guess. Uh, So what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to get that back so it, it's, it meets. Can you see that? It's a slight bit of gap. Ah, there you go. In it goes. As I'm talking to you, it's gone in. Right, so now what I need to do is draw another line. So that does help. By pushing it in as far as you think you can go, drawing a line. <laughs> Try to get it. Alright, drawing a line. So uh, as you can see, I drew the line there, cut it away. Then it just makes it easier to get it in. <laughs> right, let me cut this. Right, I think. Right, I think we're ready to go. Let's cut that piece off. I am a bit worried about the time because the time has flown by. Um, ever so sorry for people that want this build done in one video. Not gonna happen. <laughs> it might speed up. Get in there, son. Yeah, just cut a bit too much off there. So I went, what, it's just, you, yeah, just a little bit too much. But as long as that's level there, I'm happy. I can see A that afterwards. I don't think I should, yeah. Because the um, rudder, does go on like so so that's when the rudder will be on there nice lovely I need to go up a bit so it doesn't touch yes <laughs> spin right okay so what does it say where to put the CA on that it says exactly the same now what it's saying is that you need to that is straight I'm going with it. says that you need to use this, but trouble is, how the hell do you use one unless you've got like one with a gap in the middle? Don't know. Don't know. Just tap the hat, tap the hand. Okay, right. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go for gold on that. So let's do my little slidey on the CA strip. I mean, if you do your strips the same, it doesn't look that bad. Oof. <laughs> he says. I'm sure that's. I'm sure that's in. Yeah, you know, this might be a nightmare to fly. It really is. But then again, I've got a four-stroke engine that'll probably drag the plane along. <laughs> Whoa! 
well, it drags the plane along anyway, but you know what I mean. So let's just uh, get a bit of glue, CA glue in the end there. Let's just pour it in so it kind of fills inside. You know, just let it just fill the plane up with CA glue. Okay, so you know, I'd prefer it that way just to do it like that because then I know that I'm all straight and level and you know that's looking good that is looking nice there you go it looks about straightish to me well straight there's no issues there so there you go oh look at this so uh, remember my little spitfire that <laughs> look at the scale I could sit there couldn't I anyway my little spitfire uh, that I 3d printed and had to put together side moment here um, I've got some plastic filler yeah, started filling it up because obviously they didn't really go together, but yeah. Anyway, so, yes, I'm happy with that. I think that's, uh, I'm going to stop the video there because I need a bit of fresh air and a drink. So, but uh, for you, it'll be literally a second. I right, and back. I told you it would only be a couple of seconds. It's probably a nanosecond for you. Anyway, what I've done, I've just rested this on like a stool and I've got the couple of clips and some some earth sleeving believe it or not holding it so it doesn't move now I do want to use I think my industrial grade super glue because it still has the um, what's it called again the uh, oh god cyanocryolate uh, acryolate, acryolate, CA <laughs> it still has all that stuff in it and I want this, I'm a bit worried about, I haven't got petroleum jelly and I don't want this to suddenly stick. <laughs> so I can't, I can't elevate the situation. Right, so what I was thinking of doing is, it's putting this, now it does dry a bit, take a long, take a bit longer to dry, 30 seconds I believe. Um, but it just gives me a bit more time, it does say that you bend it and then you, moment of truth so I'm hoping that this will go down rather than go across so let's just hold that there for a second That's, oh I see that it nearly stuck in fact I'm going to wiggle it Yeah, I reckon we're, I reckon we're good un, he says, until it comes off mid-flight. So I'm going to do the back of it as well. I'm just going to splurge a bit in there. Splurge a bit in there. Oh, I'm not, let's see, let's see, look how quick that goes. I think off camera, I'm a bit, uh, I think we okay that's a surface that's going to oh I've just got to be careful there because it's a bit of glue there don't like this gluing lock it's okay just I'm not used to it I think that's slightly up on that angle but that's not going to make a difference with the elevators it's just me oh you're not going to believe this no that's right is that right? It's not. I've put them on the wrong side. I don't think I'm going to get these out. That's a major ass. Didn't think. Ah, oh, what a major. What am I going to do now? Oh. <laughs> that is a major poo poo. I didn't I didn't even see that I, this is meant to be on that side like that didn't even see it oh, I'm so annoyed so 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 I don't know what I'm gonna do that has just gone right down there and I bet you bottom dollar I can't get that back out again I've glued both sides being all lovely and happy that's what happens when you don't think I do not think I'm gonna get that back out again 
which is a good thing because then I know that it's what am I going to do <sighs> what am I going to do hmm well I'm not going to cut this out because <laughs> you got to have a laugh, haven't you? I have just totally knackered that and I don't, and I can't get it out because that is, it's a good thing I can't get it out. Oh, I could, okay. That's what happens is basically they break. What a load of... Blah. So annoyed with myself. I just wanted to finish that today. I'm really, I've got the ump. I've really got the ump. Hum. <laughs> you got to laugh. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to end it there. I do apologise if this film's been a waste of time for you. Um, my journey. Thank you for following it. I really appreciate every one of you. Um, but for today, that is it. So if you're able to fly this weekend, fantastic. So keep flying, be safe, keep safe, and thanks for popping by. We'll see you soon. Don't worry. Ta-da now. Bye-bye. <laughs>